Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the last problem of lead code weekly contest 312. It's a hard level problem. The problem name is number of good paths. So the problem statement says that there is a tree that is a connected undirected graph with no cycles consisting of n nodes numbered from 0 to n minus 1 and exactly n minus 1 edges. So you are also given a zero index, uh, zero index integer array vals of length L where vals of i denotes the value of the ith node. You are also given a 2D integer array edges where edges of i equals to ai comma bi that denotes that there exists an undirected edge between nodes ai and bi. Now what is a good path? So a good path is a simple path that satisfies the following condition. The starting and the ending node have the same value. All the nodes between starting and the ending node have values less than or equal to the starting node. So that is the starting node value should be maximum value along the path and obviously starting and ending ending are the same right so return the number of distinct good paths uh, note that a path and its reverse is counted as the same path um, for example 0 1 is considered to be same as 1 0 uh, a single node is also considered as a valid path right so let's uh, jump to the explanation right I'll, I'll take the first example so in that we have a tree where z we have 0 and that is connected to 1 0 is also connected to 2 it is connected to 3 and this is connected to 4 right what are the weights so this has a weight of 1 this has a weight of 3 this has a weight of, weight of 2 this has a weight of 1 this has a weight of 3 right now what are the good paths first definition of the good path is that uh, starting and ending value should be same and along the path all the middle nodes should have value less than or equal to the starting node or the ending node whatever so just see all the single nodes are valid are good paths right so that means one two three four five five good paths i already have five good paths right now what are the paths which have starting and ending ending value as equal so just see this is three does any other uh, node has value three yes we have so and what is the path so path is in this case is one just a second this is one zero two and four this has a weight of 3. This has a weight of 3. What about these two weights? This is 1 and this is 2. So yes, this satisfies our condition. These two values are less than or equal to 3. So yeah, I have one more path. What about other repetitive values? So 3 is gone, right? Uh, do I have a 2? No, I do not have another 2, right? Do I have a 1? Yes, I have a 1. What is the path? So it's 0. So this is a 1. This is a 1. What is the path from here to here? It is 0, 2, 3 correct and so the weight is here 1 the weight is here and what what about 2 so it has a weight of 2 so this does not satisfy a condition so the total number of good paths that i have is equals to 6 right so this is what the problem is saying and i need to return the number of good paths so um, if you if you if you just see how to how to basically uh, approach this problem so just consider that first consider the, that all the nodes are <clears throat> sorry the, all the nodes are separate trees right obviously a single node is a separate tree right uh, having one node and zero edges right so consider all the nodes as uh, separate trees right now what will happen so if i start with n number of nodes these are certain nodes so what will an edge do an edge will basically connect two trees right the, it will just pick two nodes suppose i consider this node and this node so an edge will basically connect two different trees two sub trees i can say right so now what we do now what we do since we need to find the good paths and in good paths starting and ending node have this maximum value so what we need to do we can sort the edges right we can sort the edges based on the maximum value of the vertices that it connect right of the vertices like for example if this is an edge right if this is an edge and this edge is a uh, connecting a node with value 5 right and this is also an edge suppose and this is a collect uh, connecting a uh, node with value 15 so this will come on top right this will come on top because we'll start with the max values and we'll consider only those edges so we'll sort the edges uh, based on the maximum value of what vert vertices that it connects right now now what will happen once uh, once that is sorted so now what we'll do will will uh, see each and every edge one by one right and at every iteration so when we start so at at every iteration what will happen we'll be connecting two subtrees 
right? We'll be connecting two subtrees. Now what will happen? Suppose this is one subtree, this is second subtree. We are connecting two, two subtrees. Now, suppose <coughs> the max values in these two subtrees are A and B, right? A and B, then what will happen? And let's suppose the frequency of A is AF, A frequency L, right? And B frequency L, right? right? Now, now what will happen if these two values are equal just consider if the max value here and if the max values are here are equal that means there is a good path here right there is a good path here and how many good paths are actually there right how many good paths are there so suppose uh, the number of the, uh, the the max value here is a and the number of max values is this much and the max value here is B and the number of max values here is this. So the number of good paths I can get is A frequency into B frequency, right? This much I can get because the starting and ending uh, values have to be same and they have to be maximum, right? So if, if A equals to B, then I do this, right? I do this and then what I do since I connect these two things. So what, what has happened? <laughs> sorry what has happened these two beca have become a single tree earlier they were two sub trees now they are connected so they become a single tree right now if a is not equal to b right if a is not equal to b then what will happen we have not found any path we have not found any path in this case no good path will be found however we will be connecting these two nodes we will be connecting these two sorry these two sub trees right we'll be connecting these two sub trees and obviously in that case suppose if a was the maximum value in these two sub trees so my my new max of the whole sub tree will become a and the frequency will remain this one right this is the basic stuff that that we'll be doing now now comes the question how do we join two subtrees and all how do we start so there are multiple ways to do do this but the easiest way to solve these type of problems is using disjoint set yeah using disjoint set disjoint right set union so in this what happens if you do not have too much idea i'll, I'll give i'll give you briefly uh, a, a, a brief overview so you start with certain sets <clears throat> right and then what we do uh, we basically check that so e initially every node has a parent every node has a parent denoting that okay i belong to this subtree i belong to this subtree and so on right now when we connect two nodes so whenever we, we are checking for a particular edge suppose i'm checking for this edge so what we do these are the two nodes that are being connected by this edge i check what is the parent of this node and what is the parent of this node if both have the same parent suppose this is the parent let's call it p and let's call it p right if both have the same parent that means it means the these both have the are in the same subtree so no need to add this edge like just give an example however if this node gives that i have a parent of p1 and this nodes give that i have a parent of p2 then that means these are two different subtrees and you can join it and after joining you need a common parent for the new joint subtree right so what you will do you can either make p1 as the parent of p2 or p2 as the parent of p1 anything you can do however in this problem that we have we are just discussing we, we we are dependent on which node we make the parent so what we'll do we will always make the maximum node as the parent right uh, that means if there were two, two sub trees like this is a this is b right so now what will happen <coughs> if, if a a's value is more then i will i'll make a as b's parent right Else, if both are equal, you can make anyone, anyone's parent, right? That won't be an issue. And to start with, every node has a parent, which is equals, which is equal to their value itself, right? So this is the basic stuff that we'll be doing. We'll be using disjoint set to, to connect different, different subtrees. And while connecting different subtrees, we'll be seeing what are the maximum values on, in those subtrees, right? If those maximum values are equal, we get good path and we multiply it. If those values are not equal, so we just merge it. And we are good to go right so let me just go walk you through the code uh, so yeah on line number so my code starts from line number 12 uh, so yeah this is a c plus plus code so what i did uh, i i i found this solution to be very intuitive and very good so that is why i uh, just use this code uh, this was from a user uh, some core 006 but yeah I, I would say great explanation great code 
Hence, I was little bit lazy to light, write it in Java. Hence, I just I I thought explanation is the main thing here, right? So, so uh, I entered number of good notes. So, so we start it. We start from here, and then as I told uh, on line number thirteen, we have we make parent. We make a parent vector. This basically denotes that for all the n nodes, uh, what are the parents of all the n nodes, right? And then uh, I have a, a map. So this map basically represents that uh, for each uh, for for each of the uh, values for each of the node values, what is the maximum element that you have? So initially that is not relevant. However, moving forward that will become relevant. We'll see. We'll see that. So this says that for a node i. What is the maximum value contained in that particular subtree? That is the main meaning of it, right? right? And on line number fifteen, I have a count, right? Uh, count basically represents uh, represents the uh, number of nodes having that particular value, right? Now uh, you can see on line number seventeen, I have started constructing it. So as I told you, we start with parent of i equals to i. That means every node has the same node node as its parent. Like one will have one as parent, two will have two as parent, and and so on. And max element of i equals to vals of i because for every node, since that is a single node, because we are starting with n number of subtrees, that will be the maximum value, right? And count of i equals to one, right? That's the main stuff. On line number twenty three, you have see, you can see that I've sorted the array. Um, sorry, sort yeah, sorted the array, edges array. So what is the logic of that? So the logic of that is, so m basically contains. So this is an edge, right? This is an edge. So what we do, we see what are the values of a of zero and b of zero, right? To I get two edges. So a a and b edge. So for a, what are the two nodes? Uh, let's call it a zero and b a one. So what is the maximum values among those? Similarly, what is the maximum values for for the second edge? That is b, and then I sort it <laughs> uh, that m is less than equal to n. So you just sort it, right? That that's what we are doing. And then uh, I initialize on line number thirty one. I initialize my answer from n, and then I start. Uh, then I start traversing the edges. So as as told you on line number thirty five and thirty six, I use a function to find that what is the parent for this particular for these two edges, right? What is what is what is the parent? So this is uh, for these two nodes. So if I talk about an edge, so edge of zero and edge of one will represent two nodes. I need to find the parent of these two nodes. So there is a find function when you go to line number three. So this is a traditional union find algorithm. I will not go into much detail. However, if you want, I can create a separate video for that. Uh, it's a good algorithm. You can do certain optimizations as well, uh, and we can go. We can uh, do a walk through as to why we do those optimization. That will be a good video to be very honest. But still, you can find great resources on the internet as well. So. If a equals equals parent of a, then just return it. Otherwise, what you do? Parent of a equals to find parent of parent of a. That means, uh, if I am at a, at a particular node uh, and I am not able to find the parent, so I move to my parent, and whatever my parent's parent is, or I can say whatever my grandparent is, that will become my parent, right? So that is how you move up from. So just consider from a root node, from a from a leaf node, you are moving up to the root node. We need to find the root node because parent will be the root node. So finally, you return that particular node. Uh, so uh, on line number thirty seven, that's what uh, we are doing. If max element of A is not equal to max element of B, then what you do? You just do. If these two are not equal, so if A is greater than B, right? Max element of A is greater than max element of B. So you make A as the parent of B. So parent of B equals to A. Else you make uh, B as parent of A. However, if both of them are equal, then what you do? <laughs> you can make anyone anyone's parent and answer plus equals to count of I uh, count of A into count of B, right? And then uh, what you do? Count of uh, count of B uh, plus equals to count of A. This is the stuff that you do, and finally you get all the good parts, right? so i would say a very good problem to solve to be very honest learning multiple concepts in this problem so yeah we can solve some more similar problems it will it will be good for the upcoming contest as well right so yeah i hope you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel in case you have any queries do mention into the comments i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye